Hello everyone, and welcome to the early access version of Wolf Quest 3. That's right, after literally hundreds of wolf pups born across our famous moon pack legacy, after years of watching the devs work diligently to bring an updated version of this deeply beloved game, it is finally time to dive in to the new version of Wolf Quest. So without further ado, I'm actually going to introduce all of you to the wolf that you are currently staring at. He may be familiar to those of you who have been following along for the hundreds of episodes and the many, many generations of our wolf pack. But my friends, I would like to introduce all of you to uh, Crow. This is Crow, and he is a wolf part of our Moon and Dawn pack legacy. Like I mentioned, we have tons and tons of stories there, and when it comes to carrying on our tales in a new version of Wolf Quest, no pun intended, because, you know, the tales, the tales in Wolf Quest, and like, Crow actually has a really adorably fluffy tail! You can do fluffy tails now, you guys. It just completely tickled me. Where is his tail? Where is your tail, Crow? I know, that's his, your eyes, Crow. That's wonderful. I want to. There's the fluffy tail. You guys, you can fluffify the tail. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to give him a ridiculously fluffy tail just to kind of laugh over everything. You can also give him uh, the classic radio collar. <gasps> how many of you guys remember Atlas, our bare butt biter of the earlier versions of Wolf Quest, who wore the collar for quite a while? Oh my gosh, it is just so cool to see how many different ways you can actually edit and create new wolves now. And I actually am hoping, keep your, guy, keep your eyes open guys, for possibly a creating wolf stream using some of the new ways that we can create custom wolves. Uh, a lot of them are the classic coats and the classic patterns from the previous games brought into stunning new detail. And, oh, look at that. I mean, oh, that's so pretty. You could have such a pure, like, beautiful golden wolf. Oh, my gosh. You guys are going to have to help me come up with some ideas for really cool wolves. Oh, this is just so exciting. This is just so ridiculously exciting. But I really fell in love with kind of this black and gray pattern with a few red hues mixed in, even a little bit of white around the muzzle for Crow. So he is actually going to show off the new game. I will show off all of the cool things about customizing the wolves later, hopefully in a stream. Keep your guys' eyes open for that if I can make it happen. Fingers crossed. This is an early access of the game after all, so I've had a little bit of hiccups with it. It may not be ready for streaming just yet, but I'll do my best. Uh, but yes! So, just a couple quick things to show you guys before we get going. One of my favorite things about this version so far, not only is all of the plants! Look at all of the detail on the grass! I could just roll around in that, like such a happy puppy, oh my gosh. But also, the Wolfopedia, which if you click will actually take you to some real life facts about wolves, it will tell you a little bit about the game, facts about the game. I totally love that because Wolf Quest is one of the most realistic games for the life of a wild wolf that I have ever had the the privilege to be able to play. So this is going to be a stark contrast from our Wildcraft adventures, but I think you guys are going to love it. So without further ado, and with a lot more of playing with all of the amazing settings that you can do with the wolves, this is, oh my gosh, it'd be so much fun. <laughs> so much fun to create a whole bunch of new wolves. Wait, oh, I wonder what happens if you make multiple wolves. Can you just like look over the entire wolf pack, like this big list of them? <gasps> that would be so cool. But anyway, we'll play more with that later. For now, let's go ahead and begin a new game. We are actually going to go ahead and right now, the only version of, that is available is Amethyst Mountain for Wolf Quest. Just to get another huge point that you guys need to know about the early access version out of the way, you cannot have puppies yet. Yes, that is true. There is going to be fantastic things happening with the new wolves that we'll have in Wolf Quest 3, and it's going to include the ability to have variable wolf litters, which means you might have one wolf pup when you have a litter. You might have seven. Um, you have genetics that the wolves will actually inherit. You have personalities, which I'll actually show you guys in the wolves really quickly. 
that the wolves will inherit. Look at this, Crow. Like, you can enter a little bio for your wolves now, and they do have personalities. And that is something that your wolf pups will inherit when we can have wolf pups. Right now, we have Amethyst Mountain, and that means that you can hunt, you can gain experience, you can gain a bit of strength, and you can find a mate. You can fight stranger wolves and get used to the idea of territories that wolves have. But even if you find a mate in this version, you cannot have wolf pups yet. So wolf pups are estimated to arrive in early 2020, so still a few months away, but I plan on possibly carrying on the Dawn Pack Legacy in the Wolf Quest 2.7 version of the game to kind of tide over some of the time between that. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. And uh, yes, so a couple of the really cool features. Crow has his bio. You can type quite a bit of a bio in here, which I really appreciate to kind of remember some of the significant things about the wolves. And for Crow, he was born to Dawn and Onyx of the Dawn Pack, who are descendants of the Moon Pack themselves. We have a very rich set of lore and a lot of history, including family trees, to our wolf packs. You guys don't need to know them, but if you're curious about them, I will put links into all of that information down below, including a wiki that people have filled out, and I'm just so grateful that they have really gotten going. There's another fan wiki on Wikia for our Moon Pack legacy in case you guys really want to dive into some details of their adventures. But once upon a time, Crow actually roamed the forest and he had met a beautiful white wolf named Luster. And you guys didn't vote for him to inherit, but he did uh, He did find a mate in the previous version of the game. However, even though they planned on having pups of their own, something happened and Luster has disappeared. So Crow is going to search the secrets in these new shadows, where he has been on Amethyst Mountain before, but now everything has changed. And the personality is definitely one of the things that I'm so excited to actually see come into play in the game. It is a new feature that all of the wolves will have, and it will be something that wolf pups will inherit from their parents to some degree, with some, you know, some variability in there as well. But for personalities, other wolves you meet, from potential mates to hostile wolves defending their own territory, have personalities that will affect their behavior. Come on guys, high five, that's fantastic. That is going to make so many natural stories, that is going to be awesome. Some will be bold, ready to dash into a hunt or a fight without hesitation. Others will be cautious, holding back until they feel more confident about their odds. Some will be energetic, moving about constantly, while others will be rather lazy. And some will be quite social, quick to initiate or respond to social actions and emotes. Others will be loners, keeping to themselves. Your wolf, of course, will behave as you choose. But since your pup's personalities are partially determined by the personality of the parent, you can configure your wolf's personality for that purpose. So our pup's personalities, when we get pups in 2020, will be determined by what our wolf is going to be like. And if we do end up with your guys' support and howling tears in the comments down below letting me know you think it's a good idea, if we do end up having more wolf pups in Wolf Quest 2.7 to kind of carry things on while we're waiting for that version of the game to come out, I do think we're going to like start using this personality scale and we'll kind of randomize and we'll see if one of our four wolf pups will be born cautious or bold, loner or social, lazy or energetic, and we will adjust it when we get to move them into Wolf Quest 3, which would be so cool. Also, stats is a system that that, as you guys may remember, stamina, speed, uh, those kinds of things, the strength of your bite, it has not been added just yet, but I do imagine they will get it done and we will be able to see all sorts of stats. I would really love it if you could even like improve your stats a little bit over the like lifespan of a wolf. That would be kind of cool. Or even as they age, watch as they start going down. I don't think that would ever be added in, but it is something that we might potentially kind of tweak uh, in the future. So there we go. This is this is what the personality and the bio looks like. So let's go ahead and see how the mountain looks for Crow in this brand new era and this new world. And here we are. Welcome 
everyone to the brand new version of Lamar Valley of Yellowstone here in Amethyst Mountain. As a new arrival here in the Lamar Valley of Yellowstone, you must learn how to hunt the prey animals here, mostly elk, but also mule deer and moose. You have to become a good hunter before you can persuade another wolf to become your mate. So that's what we're going to be working on today. This is going to be so cool. This is Crow's first hunt. He's now entered the the forest and hopefully he'll discover what the new game has to offer for us he is a secret hunter he does love exploring the shadows so let's see what he can find how to play so we need to complete a quest by killing two elk uh, we are a predator after all we need some food need some noms You'll find them up here on the mountain slopes and ridges above Lamar Valley. Later in the fall, they'll move down the valley. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, so you can review, or, oh, look at him. Oh my gosh, the wolf badge. Okay, okay, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. The wolf badge provides key information about your wolf. We lose health during attacks when biting or fighting other animals. Energy would be green. We expend energy with action. You will have less energy when digesting a big meal. Ho ho! Even that has been added in, friends. And we will have health and energy recharge automatically when we're resting and sleeping. So I'll have to figure out how to rest and sleep. We even have to sleep now! Wolves can go days without eating, but eventually you must find food. And wolves sleep for much of the day, so when the meter is empty, it's time for a nap. Oh my gosh, and then the compass shows the cardinal directions as well as custom map markers, yes! And destinations for current missions. We can see whose territory we're in. Nobody has claimed this spot if it's black. Other colors are key to the pack territories on the world map. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at you. Oh my gosh, Crow. Look at him, guys. Oh, buddy. This is the best! Oh, this is so nice! Okay, so we can trot. We can trot or gallop. I feel like a little horse saying that. We can sprint. So if we... Oh, look at him go! <gasps> you guys! Oh, I don't want to wear him out too much, but that is so cool! Oh, geez. Okay, hang on. Getting used to the controls is taking me just a second. There. There you are, buddy. Oh, look at that dead tree! I want to go see that tree! You guys, this is so pretty. Look at how, like, wow. Look at the grass. Look at the birds just flying around. Look at this tree. Look at that tree. Oh, this is so cool. All right, so this is amazing. I am so in love with the life of our new wolf pack. I mean, look at this. Look at him just sniff things. Oh, and we, speaking of sniffing things, that was a little pop-up about using scent view. Oh, what? <gasps> what? Look, there's something over here. Follow scents upwind in the direction they float towards you to find the animal emitting the smell. So actually, we need to go upwind, so follow the scent. There's like two scents mixed in here. This is so cool. Where's it gonna take us? All right, let's see. Scent view does keep us like straight up in his face. What's this? Did I smell it? Did I smell it? I think I smelled it. Oh, male dispersal wolves. I can smell them. Oh, that's so cool. As you get close, you look at my little sniffer go. I can smell that there's like other male dispersal wolves around here. Wow. Crow, what kind of secrets are you going to discover? This is so fun. Look at how beautiful the landscape is. Look at how beautiful Crow is. Jeez. Hey, look towards me, buddy. He's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm gonna look around. Oh, wow. Guys, he's looking so good. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be pretty fun. Let's take him down this cliff. Getting used to the controls is just taking me a second. And there's a scent coming from over here. And I'm kind of curious about what happens if we run into another wolf. Look at him. Oh, 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 that's so cute. I never thought I'd be so excited and, and think it was so cute to watch a wolf like skitter down a cliff before. But that was really cute. All right. Where are we going here? Oh, this is so fun because in the past wolf quest, like you'd pretty much be on top of somebody when you smelled their scent. But it looks like you really have to put a bit of Ooh, an elk carcass. Oh, can we chase them away from an elk carcass? 
Crow, you would have some food. You're not like terribly hungry, but that might be useful. That's so interesting. Look, the closer we get, the more the shape of the, the pieces change. I love this new scent way of doing things, but it looks like male dispersal wolves, as in plural. Hmm, I don't know about this. And they're next to an elk carcass. Already there's a story there. They probably killed an elk themselves. And here we come, just wandering in, like we can try to scavenge some of that. But hey, then we wouldn't have to put the risk into killing an elk ourselves, even though we do have, <gasps> look at the little pack. Oh my gosh, you can have your pack info. Like how hungry you are, how awake you are. Oh, that's so fun. And then you have your little quest. Oh, this is so cool. This looks so nice. I really love how they have this little quest layout. It'd be really cute if you could have a bit more space for your bio, like a personal um, like notes that you could fill out just for you to see. So that way, if you made a custom quest, you'd be able to keep track of it. Oh, look at the map. Holy cow. And we can add custom markers. This is a really beautiful map. What? Oh, this is so cool. We're gonna have so much fun exploring this. We're gonna have so much fun exploring this. Where's that carcass, huh? This way, huh? Okay. You guys, look at this beautiful forest. I don't even... Okay, this is amazing. This is just amazing. How... I feel like I'm I'm watching a nature documentary. Do you see the sunlight? Wow. Wow. And we're still nowhere near that elk carcass with the other males. All right, let's keep going. Can I howl? I can. Oh my gosh. Crow. He he's he's a little bolder than I thought he would be. I wonder if that let the stranger wolves know, like, hey, we want your food. Oh, this is so fun. All right, well, let's see if we can find, I just, I'm, I'm enchanted. Let's see if we can find, there's some birdos. We were really far away. I love how far the scent has traveled. Targeting animals, there's a little hair. Okay, the yellow, appear, the yellow arrow appears over nearby animals. So then we're gonna look at it. Oh, there we go. What do we have, guys? Do we smell it? A fox! <gasps> oh, no way! I don't see it! Oh, there it is! There it is! Oh my gosh, can we get it? Okay, press space to attack and bite. Okay. Can we get the fox? I hate to chase like a fox so immediately, but I'm kind of hungry. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see now. I'm sorry, buddy! Can I just like let you go because I'm not terribly hungry? But at the same time, I need to learn how to hunt. Oh, but I don't want to really do this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I killed him. Just as I changed my mind. Oh, what have I done? Yet at the same time, like I need some, some noms. How do I eat him? Can I not eat the fox? Did I just kill that fox for no reason? <gasps> Forgive me, friend. Oh my gosh. I can't even eat you. Like, this is, this is a travesty. This is, this is like, I think that the crow was just in a new place. I mean, a real wild wolf. It's harder to like, think about our, our stories at the moment. Okay, this is, this is a travesty. We will remember what we have done and we will do our best not to repeat such a crime. Especially, did I just leave like a fox orphan behind? Is that a fox? That's a bunny. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, come back here. Where'd you go? All right, there we go. Oop, I just like literally, oh my gosh. Well, I guess this means we're officially a hunter now. Oh, don't twitch. <laughs> uh, we got, we got a, we got a bunny. Oh, this is a little more. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautifully realistic and wild and this is much more wild than I thought this is much more beautiful than I thought I'm kind of in awe um, 
we we we'll go with low gore on the the settings for now because we are in a public place in the YouTubes. Um, and then I think we just like nommed that whole yep that whole that whole bunny is now gone. So at least we made use of the bunny. Uh, but all right, so guys, this is a little interesting. What is that? Oh my gosh. This world is like alive and dynamic. This is amazing. I saw something over here. What is over here? Is that another bunny? No, what is that? Is that a wolf? Oh, <gasps> you guys, I think we're about to meet our very first dispersal wolf. This is fantastically cool. Okay, but I need to collect myself for just a minute because um, as we, I mean, this really feels like walking through a real forest, doesn't it? And the world is now like, organic and and living so things will actually move around look that is indeed another wolf and here we are hiding in the shadows just waiting to be able to go meet him oh this is gonna be so cool this is amazing how do i like rest again i can't remember okay that's map and then if i want to rest oh pfft, literally as i was asking that but here we are taking a moment oh my gosh now it's raining oh <gasps> I think I'm gonna be deeply, deeply in love. I cannot wait to get close enough to have pups. This is gonna be a whole new, whole new wild world. All right, friends, I'm gonna go ahead and collect myself because I didn't expect the bunny and the fox that quickly. <laughs> but if you could, do please leave a like to howl for the release of Wolf Quest 3. If you would like to join us on this and literally hundreds and... At this rate, hundreds of thousands, though we're only at like 7,500 videos. <laughs> if you'd like to join us for hundreds of Wolf Quest adventures and thousands of other adventures, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!